Hi, I'm a YouTube content creator. Oh wait, I have to wear something a little bit more loud and professional so you watch this video and take you more seriously. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm a YouTube content creator. I do photo tech and gear reviews, and if I'm not overly excited in the intro, you will not go ahead and go past five seconds of this video. But if I only have maybe, you know, five years of experience within this field, you will discredit me. So I will say I've had over 20 plus years of experience. You must trust my opinion at that point. Also, in the first 10 seconds, I need to mention that I have a myname.com website or else you'll call me out in the comments and say you never share your work. With a quick Google search, also says that I do. Without any type of B-roll or anything more seriously to take your attention away from the true information that I'm saying, giving my opinion to, you will just discredit it because it looks boring, you're not gonna look into it, but it's all about the B-roll, it's all about getting close, it's all about looking inside and looking at every little detail and every little nut, bolt, and screw, and then the information that's on screen that's more important. But, B-roll. B-roll. And if I'm mentioning a camera right here, I need to know how many megapixels it is, uh, what the sensor is made of, what type of megapixels the sensor is, and who makes it, and what contributes to it or anything, because in the comments, that's very, very important. So you need to learn all those technical facts or else no good. And we all have to be in a live shooting environment or else it's not going to work out and it doesn't relate to anyone because everyone shoots in a live studio environment. You know, no one's outside, no one's doing anything. You have to go somewhere, you have to be somewhere. We have to show you properly the right way. Smile. The best part of all is that we have to cram all the information that we want to say in our opinions and if you should buy it or not within a three minute window or people don't watch after two minutes and 17 seconds. But if we do that, we talk too fast. But if we go too long, we talk too long, we're monotone. But that's, that's just how it is because we're YouTube content creators and we have to cater to what the audience does because no one else will watch. If we have a cheat sheet of what we need to say because we need to hit a lot of points like what's the IQ, what's the low light, what's the camera density, how does the ISO taste, what's the shutter, is there an advanced shutter, what is the aperture smoothness, is it very smooth, you know, is it good in darkly bright, dark lit situations? And after we hit all of that useful information and stuff that you want to know that is off of the press release, we then get comments saying, uh, great review, but is this better than the Canon T-Rebel 4? from 2001. Then we get to the part where we have to tell you the price, and this where it gets very, very scary for a lot of people, but we're just relaying the information. We're not setting the price for these things, but if we say it too high, you're obviously gonna dislike the video for no reason, but if we set it too low, it's definitely gonna be a thumbs up, and you're like, oh, well, that's great. It's cheap, everyone can buy it. But if you say anything bad about like a Hasselblad or any of those higher-end cameras, hey, you look down on the reviewer for no absolute reason, just to justify you have a lot more money than us, and that we don't know what we're talking about. So after everything, I give you my thoughts on the product and if you should buy it or not, but if I disagree and don't help your validation of your purchase for it and you feel a little bit of regret, you will instantly hate me, hate the video, and talk some, you know, trolling things in the comments. But I have to accept that as a content creator because we must play to everyone. As per the end of the video, I have to tell you to hit the subscribe button because you totally will want to see everything that I do after 10 minutes and everything. You have to hit the thumbs up button because that's also a requirement to help us out for our free hard work and effort. But we don't expect that from you. We just expect to post videos that we want to make because we're just all like that And that's how everything is and God forbid you don't include a photo or video example thumbs down I can't afford this. I don't like him